Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Harmless. This is video number three, and today we're going to be talking about the harmonic mask, this mix knob, and the LFO. So, as usual, let's load up a default patch here, bring our frequency all the way to the top, and I'll click this amount. So what is this harmonic mask? So it goes from 1 to 12, and those are going to be our harmonics in series. So if we play something here, and we move these sliders, we're not going to really notice anything. That's because this mix knob here has to be engaged. So if we turn this all the way up, we get a square wave, as we can see. And why is that? It's because all the odd harmonics are in series here. And an easy way to remember that that I've said before is, if you're a square, you're kind of odd, right? And odd harmonics create a square wave. That's the way I've always remembered it and I've never forgotten it. So maybe that might help you. And this way is what we're gonna be getting into with additive synthesis. So if we bring all these down here, by alt clicking them. So we just have the first one here and bring down the filter a little bit to cut off these other ones. We end up with a sine wave. Just one uh, fundamental. There's a little bit here. We can bring down the cut up just a little bit more to kind of take that off. It's going to be lingering just a little bit, but for uh, all intents and purposes, we have a sine wave here. And as we introduce more of these, We get to bring our filter up a little bit more to see those. And this is how we're gonna be start, this is how we're gonna start building our own waveform. So let's go back to default and talk about this LFO knob here. So if we go to default here and bring this mix all the way up to the left or to the right and then LFO to the left, let's go down here to our LFO and select a, uh, or is it pulse here? So for a little easier example, let's increase the speed and let's press a note here. So you can see it's kind of bouncing between a square and a saw, and that's basically modulating this mix knob like this. Just with the LFO. And this LFO knob is also left and right, so negative and positive polarity. So if we have it to the right here, maybe have a center here. And it's gonna give kind of a similar result, but a little bit squarish on the saw side. So very cool, definitely cool to play around with. And back to a default once again, let's bring our cutoff all the way to the top, alt click that. I probably should make a default patch for myself, but anyway, next up here we have the tremolo. So this one's actually very cool if you're making maybe like an organ or something like that. Let's press this. And this is where this meter here comes in handy. We can actually see the sound moving. If you play that too long in headphones, you might throw up. But that's what that does, very cool. And this is going to be our main envelope here, so our attack. So the fade in to our maximum value of sound, or volume, our decay. Technically in ADR, there's no sustain, so once the attack hits, it's gonna start triggering, triggering the decay. And then a release here. So pretty straightforward. These VEL buttons down here is velocity for all these, uh, so the release and the attack. So if you have a MIDI keyboard, and depending on how soft you hit the keys and how hard you hit the keys, it's going to influence this attack and this release knob. Really anywhere where this VEL is, the velocity on your keyboard is going to strengthen or reduce strength of that parameter. And that's pretty much this harmonic mask. It makes an LFO in the, the tremolo the ADR in this synth in a nutshell. And in the next video, we're going to be talking about the pluck because this one's a little bit more in depth than just a standard. Here's a knob, here's a plucks, and that's pretty much it. So we'll see you in the next video.